next question is, what's the biggest mistake Christian women make that keeps them from getting a ring on it? Oh my gosh. I actually have a whole webinar on this. So there's a lot of top mistakes that Christian women make. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll give you a few. I'll give you them like the really quick ones, not meeting enough men. You, you got to meet more men. I mean, like sometimes I talk to women, they've met two new men this year and it's like, that's not enough. Not being flirty, feeling like it's ungodly to be flirty. And when I say flirty, I don't mean like Promiscuous. You know, most Christian women like to follow the Bible where it says to save sex for marriage. So I'm not talking about in soliciting sex, mm -hmm. but just being playful and cheeky and, mm -hmm. you know, fun and flirty. They don't want to do it. That's kind of a big mistake. But I think the top mistake that Christian women make is thinking that God is just going to drop a husband in front of them and they don't have to. I like to think of it as God gives you opportunities, pathways to walk down to find your spouse. But a lot of women won't walk down those pathways because they think God will just drop someone in front of me. And so they just pray and wait. I think that's like one of the main reasons why we stay single so long because we're just praying and waiting instead of walking down the opportunities he gives to us. You just reminded me of a scripture, uh, faith without works is dead. Like you said, be flirty, just be playful. Don't, you know, mm -hmm. and, and the other answer to your question is don't be so serious at the same time, just have fun with it. Michelle Joyner, before you start joining men and women in, a, in holy matrimony, <laughs> <laughs> any last or final words you'd like to say? Have fun. I would just say have fun. And really realize that your heart's desire in this area is worthy of being honored. All the same goals that you have in other areas, you go to college for a career, you wanna to move to a certain place, like this desire too, to get married, it's so worth pursuing, it's so worth being honored. And don't let time pass you by, cause it will. Time will really pass you by. Honor your heart's desire in this, get help if you need help, and really make this a priority cause it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Don't let time pass you by. Thank you for your time today. And if you guys like the content we're throwing up, drop us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. And if there's any other topics you'd like to see Michelle Joyner talk about, comment below, let us know. And I will do my best to bring her back. Thank you again. Bye.